みなさん、こんにちは。佐藤です。Today's lesson is lesson 13.In this lesson, we learn about verbs, mass forms, and particle o. In the previous lesson, we learned about three kinds of verbs. Do you remember them? First one is ru verbs and u verbs and then irregular verbs. These three groups of verbs. Before we learn how to conjugate them, let's check the verbs we learned last time. Please repeat after me. Taberu. Taberu. Neru. Neru. Okiru. Okiru. Miru. Miru. U verbs. Nomu. Nomu. Yomu. Yomu. Hanasu. Hanasu. Kiku. Kiku. Iku. Iku. And irregular verbs. There are only two verbs here. Suru. Suru. Kuru. Kuru. All the verbs I just showed you are in dictionary form, like taberu, nomu. They are in dictionary form. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to make mass form, which is present tense affirmative form used in polite speech. Let's begin with ru verbs. Taberu, neru, okiru, miru. These are ru verbs. When we conjugate, we don't change these beginning parts. It's called verb stem. Stem is fixed. And we change this ru at the end. It's called verb suffix. It's really easy to make mass form. You just need to replace the suffix ru with mass, mass. The u sound at the end tend to be silent. Mass, mass. So you just need to replace suffix ru with mass. Tabe mas, tabe mas is the mass form of taberu. Tabe mas. Nemas, nemas. Okimas, okimas. Mimas, mimas. Please change this dictionary form of verb into mas form. You need to replace suffix ru with mas. So, tabe mas, tabe mas. Just drop ru and add mas. Tabe mas. How about this one? Miru to see. Please make a mas form of this. Miru. Drop ru suffix and add mas. Mimas, mimas. Next, u verbs. Nomu, yomu, hanasu, kiku, iku. These are verb stems. And the ending part, u, is the suffix. In order to make mass forms, you need to replace the suffix u with not mas this time. Imas, imas. When you conjugate u verbs, you need to replace the suffix u with imas, not just mas. 
います。combine the last consonant m and i in the います。so m plus i is mi mi。so no mi mas no mi mas no mi mas is the mas form of no mu。読む。読みます。読みます。話す、話します、話します。聞く、聞きます、聞きます。行く、行きます、行きます。You can think of the change as going up in the same hiragana line. For example, the verb 飲む to drink ends with hiragana む。Replace this mu with mi, which is above the mu on M line. So replace mu with mi, no mi, and then add mas, no mi mas. Hanasu to speak. It ends with su. So replace su with shi, which is above the su. So hanashi. Hana shi, and then add mas. Hana shi mas, hana shi mas. What is the mas form of this verb? Yomu, to read. Yomu. Ends with mu. Ma mi mu me mo. So take mi, and then add mas. Yomi mas, yomi mas. How about this one? 聞く to hear to listen to 聞く ends with くく so change this くく with ききき which is above the く on K line かきくけこき is above く聞きます聞きます Do you remember this verb? 帰る帰る。It ends with L, but it's an U verb. Can you make mass form of 帰る。帰る ends with る。る。So you have to replace る with り。り。ら、り。る。けど。So 帰ります。帰ります。帰ります。Lastly, irregular verbs. There are only two regular verbs, so please just remember their mass form. Shimas and kimas. Shimas is mass form of suru, and kimas is mass form of kuru. The conjugation here is similar to u verb conjugation. Su is replaced with shi. It's same for kuru. Ku is replaced with ki. And then add masu. Shimas, kimas. Suru verbs like benkyo suru follow the same conjugation rule as suru itself. What is mas form of suru? Suru. Shimas, shimas. How about 来る、来る、来ます、来ます。With る verbs, you simply replace る with ます。Like 食べる、drop る、and add ます。食べます、食べます。With う verbs, replace the suffix う with います sound. So, no mu will be no mi mas, no mi mas. Or you can think of the change as going up on the same hiragana line. No mu, no mu. Take mi and add mas, no mi mas. And for irregular verbs, there are only two, so you can just remember them. Shimas and kimas. The conjugation way is similar to u verbs. 
Now let's make sentences using the mass form of verbs. Let's make a sentence. I eat ramen. I. How do you say I in Japanese? Watashi. Watashi. And eat. Eat. Do you remember how to say eat? Taberu. But change it to mass form. Tabemasu. Tabemasu. And then ramen. 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 As you can see, the word order is different. Nouns used in sentences generally followed by particles. Particles indicate the relations between the noun and verb. The particle we need to put here is wa, wa, which indicates the topic or subject of the sentence. We already learned about this before. Watashi wa, wa is called topic marker. But how about the particle after ramen? What should we put? Ramen is not a topic, it's an object. I eat ramen. In order to indicate the direct object, we put particle o. o. Direct objects are the kind of things that are directly involved in or are affected by the event. Ramen is the direct object in the sentence. I eat ramen. How about this sentence? I watch TV. TV is Terebi in Japanese. Terebi. It comes from television. Terebi. Terebi. And what? Miru. And mass form is mimas. So, watashi wa terebi o mimas. I watch TV. Now, terebi is the direct object. The subject is often dropped when it's clear. So, you don't need to say watashi wa when it's clear. If it's obvious that you're talking about yourself, you don't need to say that. So you can just say, ramen wo tabemasu. I eat ramen. Or, terebi wo mimasu. I watch TV. In spoken language, particles are often dropped as well. We often say like, ramen tabemasu. Or, terebi mimasu. Without particles. But I want you to use particles until you fully understand how to use them. So let's not drop them in this lesson. Let's make a sentence. I drink coffee. Coffee is kohi in Japanese. Kohi. I'll give you a hint. To drink is nomu. Nomu. And then nomu is an u verb. So what should you do to make mass form? Mami mu me mo. Nomu ends with mu. So please take mi, which is above the mu, to mi, and then add mas. So no mi mas, no mi mas, and then don't forget to add particle o. Kohi o no mi mas. Kohi is the direct object here. Kohi o nomimasu. I drink coffee. I speak Japanese. Do you remember how to say Japanese? It's Nihongo. Nihongo is Japanese language. Please make a sentence. I speak Japanese. Hint one is to speak is hanasu. Hanasu. Please conjugate this. Hanasu is an u verb. Hanasu ends with su. So take si, hanashi, and add mas. Nihongo o hanashimas. Nihongo o hanashimas. I speak Japanese. It can be either I read a book or I read books. 
book is 本本 book 本 Please make a sentence. I read a book. To read is 読む It's an u verb. So, same as the previous one. Your mu ends with mu. So, please take mi. Your mi mas. Hon o yomimas. The particle o. Hon o yomimas. Hon is the direct object here. Hon o yomimas. And next one. I eat a hamburger or I eat hamburgers. Hamburger. 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 I eat. What is eat? Taberu. Taberu. To eat. And taberu is u verb or ru verb. Irregular verb. Taberu is a ru verb. Do you remember how to conjugate this? If it's a ru verb, it's easy. Just drop ru. And add mas. Tabemas, tabemas, and particle o. Hamburger o tabemas. Hamburger o tabemas. I eat hamburger. How about this one? I watch TV. TV is terebi, terebi. And to watch is, do you remember? Miru, miru, to want, to see. Miru, and with iru sound. It's ru verb, ru verb. So it's easy. Drop ru, add mas. Mimas, terebi o mimas. Terebi o mimas. I watch TV. Terebi o mimas. The last one. I play tennis. I play tennis. Tennis. It's tennis. Tennis. And the verb to play. We haven't learned the verb to play. In Japanese, when we say to play sports, we use the verb to do. To do. So, suru, suru. And suru is an irregular verb. Do you remember how to conjugate this? Suru. Is shimas, shimas, and add particle o. Tennis o shimas, tennis o shimas means I play tennis. Tennis o shimas. We learned how to make mass forms today. This mass form also can be used when you talk about future events. So something about future. For example, I will play tennis tomorrow. You just need to add time expressions. Tomorrow is ashita in Japanese. So ashita tennis wo shimasu means I will play tennis tomorrow. We normally add time expressions at the beginning of the sentence. It's about future, but we use same conjugation form. Mass form is a really important conjugation form. This part, just before mass, is called stem of mass form, which is known as mass stem or verb stem. It's called differently depending on the textbook. When you learn new grammar, you may sometimes see this kind of explanation. Mass stem or verb stem plus something. Mass stem or verb stem means this part of mass form verbs. Tabe plus something. Or nomi plus something. Si plus something. This mass stem is combined with other suffixes and make different meanings. I call it mass stem. Because verb stem sounds confusing. When we talk about the structure of the verbs, 
we divide them into stem and suffix. But in grammar explanations, verb stem means the beginning part of mass form verb. So please note that when you see explanations like verb stem plus something, that means this part of mass form verb plus something. I will stick with mass stem because it's clear that it's a stem of mass form verb. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please practice making mass form. ありがとうございました。